Hello and good morning. This is week two. Make sure you put that up there. Remember, the homework, you cannot turn it in until Friday, so it's not going to be open on Canvas until Friday. So you have from Friday to Monday only. All right, let's take a look at these. Order of operations say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Write that down. Parentheses come first. Well, there are no parentheses. The next thing is exponents. There are no exponents. But multiplying and dividing, there is dividing. So we're going to divide first. So 16 divided by 4 is going to give you 4 plus 4 equals 8. So number 1 should be 8. But look at the difference on number 2. Number 2 has parentheses. So you've got to do that first. Even though it's addition, parentheses is way up here. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So for number 2, it's going to be 16 divided by 8 equals 2. Make sure you understand the difference. Okay, let's go on. This one right here, I'm going to do parentheses first. So that's going to be 8 squared plus 2. And then down on the bottom, I'm going to do parentheses and get 3. 5 minus, or 8 minus 5. So 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2 divided by 6. So I end up with 66 divided by 6, which is 11. Make sure you understand order of operations. All right, down at the bottom on a new sheet of paper, copy this down. Copy all of this down. Okay, draw those diagrams. Let's take a look here. We're going to do area of a square. Area of a square is just length times width. So 2 times 2 is 4. So it's going to be 4 square feet. This is called a trapezoid. So area of a trapezoid, put a star by this, is 1 half the height times the sum of the bases. The bases are the ones that are parallel. Some kids are like, oh, it's the top and the bottom. Sometimes it is, but sometimes they turn the page like this. And if they turn the page, then your bases are these, not those, okay, because those are not parallel. So let's get back to this. The height, you see that box? Color the box. The box touches the 4 and it touches the 8. So that should help you. So it's 1 half the height times the sum of the bases, so it's got to be 8 and 3. And so that's half of 4 is 2, and 2 times 11 is going to be 22. And you only do half one time, so I did half of 4, you don't do half of 11. And if you want, wait till the very end and divide by 2. Alright, let's keep moving. Circumference of a circle, we talked about Tropicana Field. If you walk all the way around this circle one time, what would it be? So put circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Put 3.14 times the diameter. Now 4 is the radius, so if you use 4, you're going to miss it. The diameter is 4 plus 4, so the diameter is 8. So use your calculator on that. Number 4 is the volume, and it's big B. The bottom times the height divided by 3. So I put volume equals big B times the height divided by 3. So the base is a square. 3 times 3 is 9. The height of this thing is 8. It's a pyramid. It's a square pyramid. And then you got to divide by 3 because it comes to a point. <clears throat> so it's going to be 72 divided by 3, whatever that is. Use your calculator. All right, perimeter is just the distance around something. So like on this one, if they wanted the perimeter, you wouldn't add the 4. You would just add up this, plus this, plus this, plus this, but not the 4. Okay? So perimeter and circumference are basically the distance around something. Okay? Today's work is right here. Make sure you draw the diagrams. It's in the book, and I'll put the book on canvas as well. Have a good morning.